Hello everyone. I wanted to uh, bring you up to date on where we are in light of the governor's press conference that he had yesterday. You may recall that he had mentioned that there are certain services that would be considered essential and others that would not be. Uh, churches have been declared non-essential services and so as a result of that um, we need to close our parish offices. In fact, it's mandated that they be closed as of 5 p.m. last evening. So the offices both at St. Louis and at St. Francis will be closed until further notice. Uh, however, since the chapel at St. Francis is connected to the office, that building will be completely closed and the chapel there would not be available for private prayer. However, the chapel at our other uh, church at St. Louis on Route 108, that will remain open from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. We had to adjust the time a little bit, but from 9 in the morning to 5 p.m. with adoration from 12 noon to 3 p.m. And we hope that that'll provide an opportunity for those of you who would like to uh, have some time in private prayer to be able to do so. I also wanted to mention to you, uh, because some people have asked, where is Father Carlos? Uh, he was uh, assigned to our pastorate. And you may recall, uh, things when he came to us were much more settled, obviously, than they are now. And so I thought, since he had not been home for three years, that it might be a good time, right before Lent, for him to go home and see his parents and his family. He's now back in Maryland, in Baltimore. Unfortunately, we're not gonna see him for another 21 days because now he's quarantined for those 21 days and uh, he sends his best and his prayers. He's anxious to come back and get started and we're anxious to have him back. He will be making a few phone calls to some of our senior citizens, which is a good thing as well. So uh, I wanted you to be aware of that. Also, I wanted you to be aware of the fact that one of the best ways to stay connected to us and allow us to stay connected to you is through Flocknote. And if you haven't yet signed up for Flocknote, go to either parish webpage and you'll see the directions. And you'll have a, be open to a, a wonderful array of other prayers and ways in which we can reach out to you. So I wanted you to be aware of that as well. And finally, I mentioned to you yesterday that I wanted to share with you a beautiful prayer that was composed uh, by Mother Macaulay, who is a very uh, favorite saint of mine. She's not quite yet a saint, but she's one miracle away from becoming a saint. And so I pray to her every single day this prayer. Uh, many of you have heard me pray it before, but I'd like to offer it to you it's set to music. We're going to be sending you the words uh, so that you can pray it as well. But I'd like to, at this time, play the hymn, pray the prayer in music for you. And I'd like you to take a moment or two just to listen and pray along with the sisters as they sing it.
I hope you agree with me that is a beautiful prayer and one that is very appropriate for our day and age. So pray it. Remember, she needs one more miracle and maybe she'll listen to us or hear us and maybe intercede for us. Please, God. So I wish you a good day. Please stay safe. And I close with a final blessing. May Almighty God watch over and bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.